Hey guys, welcome to Retro Crisis and in today's video we're going to take a look at a new Nintendo Switch emulator called Suyu and I believe Suyu is meant to be a continuation of the work done by the Yuzu team. So firstly I'll show you how to download and install it. So firstly we need to go to the Suyu Emu GitLab page which I've linked in the description below. Once you're there you'll see this list and then go to Suyu. And then once you're here, go down, and then you'll see this download section with a number of different operating systems. Select your operating system. In this video, I'll be selecting Windows. And then here you'll see Assets and Other. So at this point, I'm not too interested in the source code, but I will go to the other section and select my operating system. And finally, click on the big download button. And then once you've downloaded the zip file, you need to extract it into its own folder. And once you open the folder, you should see a folder called Release and open it. And then within there, you'll see a number of files that look like this. First thing to do is go to suyu.exe and open it. The first time you open it, you'll see an alert message pop up saying that the encryption keys are missing. You'll need to provide your own encryption keys. That's out of the scope of this video, but I will tell you where to install them once you do have them. So go to OK, go to File, go to Open Suyu Folder, and then you'll see this folder open. And go to the folder that says Keys, open it, and then you need to copy and paste your keys here. And once you've done that, you can close this folder. Now what I would recommend you do is close Suyu and open it up again and see if you get the same alert message. File, exit, and reopen. And there we go, the alert message doesn't pop up anymore. And now it's time to add some games. And you can do that in the first instance by double clicking on this giant yellow folder and then navigating to the folder that contains your games. And then once you've done that, the games should then appear on the list here. Now, I just want to put it out there, because the Nintendo Switch is still a current system that, you know, is still available to buy, my personal view on this is I will only really emulate Switch games that I've purchased myself, and so I've got here Super Mario and Tears of the Kingdom, and these are two games I own. Now, let's configure the control pad. So go to Emulation, go to Configure, go to Controls. Now, I've got a Bluetooth controller already connected, so the controller I'm trying to emulate is a Pro Controller, and my input device is an Xbox One controller. It's actually an 8-bit Do controller, but I guess Xbox One is the closest we got here. And for the most part, I think the controller just kind of automatically configures, so here's my analog sticks. Yep, and all the controller buttons have matched up wonderfully. If you do want to change any of the buttons, all you need to do is click on one of the buttons here, and then press the button on your controller. And down here you can decide the console mode, if you want it in docked mode or handheld mode. Generally I always play my Switch games in docked. And then once you're happy, just go to OK. And now let's check a few more options. Go back to emulation and configure. Go to system, select your language, your region, your time zone. Let's go to CPU, and where it says accuracy, I'll just leave it to auto. And under graphics, I generally always select Falcon for like everything. And under device, if you have a discrete GPU and an integrated GPU, I would probably recommend selecting the discrete GPU. And everything else I'll leave the same. If you do have a really beefy graphics card, feel free to change the resolution to something a bit higher, maybe like 4K or something. But for this video, I'm just going to leave it as uh, the default kind of 720p, 1080p combination that the Switch natively has. And then go to OK. So now before we can continue playing any of these games, we need to make sure we've downloaded the Nintendo Switch firmware. I've left a link in the description below, which has a list of firmware download links. Once you open that link, if you scroll all the way down until you get to this list here, and then select the download link of your choice. Once you've downloaded the firmware zip file, you need to extract it to its own folder. And you should see a list of files that look like this. Now go back to Suyu. And now to install the firmware, we need to go to Tools and Install Firmware, and then navigate to the folder where your firmware has been extracted to. And then once you're in that folder, go to select folder, and then it should begin installing the firmware. So now just double click on a game of your choice, and it should begin loading. And if your controller is connected successfully, you should be able to just use your analog stick or your directional pad and it should just work. So currently, the resolution you're looking at is docked mode. If you want to switch between handheld and docked mode, all you need to do is go to this little corner here and then just click this button and that changes it to handheld or docked. 
If you've got an eagle eye, you'll notice the resolution kind of shift between 720p and 1080p. And the last thing is if you want to switch between windowed mode and full screen mode, all you need to do is press F11 on your keyboard. Full screen and F11 again for windowed. And that is pretty much how you emulate Nintendo Switch games in Suyu. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.